Hi, and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen, sponsored by T-Set. I'm Heidi. I am here with Chef Val today from OUT School of Community Medicine, and Julie is joining us from T-Set. Thank you. And I know we are, like, in the beginnings of fall. Right. And, you know, wanting a little more of that warm comfort food. So tell us what we're making today. Okay, so we're making a red curry sweet potato soup. It also has lentils in it. Okay. So it is very filling. It's very rich. And so a lot of um, curries you might have had with coconut milk, but we're replacing that with oat milk because it's a lot lower in fat. Okay, okay perfect. Wow, so already in our pan, we have a little bit of oil. You could use canola oil or, or olive oil. Okay. And then onion and garlic are sauteing. And we're going to go ahead and add this curry paste. And you could, I think our recipe is going to say that it needs four ounces, but if it's too spicy for you, then just cut back, cut back on that. Right. So, and I do like to let this red curry paste cook for a few minutes, um, but we don't really have a few minutes. So we're going to go on and go ahead and add the other ingredients, which are sweet potatoes, as you can see, I've chopped and left the skin on. Okay. It's not necessary to take that extra step that really does take a lot of time since they're so hard. So again, I would probably normally let these saute for right. just a little bit, but we're going to go right in with our roasted um, diced tomatoes, so the fire roasted. Okay. If you don't have fire roasted, you can't find fire roasted, which they are easy to find, but just use regular pe petite diced or um, diced tomatoes. Fire roasted is just going to give a little more of that spicy flavor, basically. Yeah, I don't for... think it's any spicier, but it's a little smokier. Okay. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, lentils, they're going to go, so these have been uh, picked through and rinsed, and so I know people always ask me, is it really necessary to pick through? Well, it is if you crunch on a rock. But we did oh. find a little rock in there yesterday, I mean, it was actually smaller than the lentil, so it is important to pick through and rinse. Okay, that's good to know, because I don't know if I would have necessarily I, known that. I didn't know that, that was what I was it. looking for. Right. Yes, rocks. That's what, what are we looking, looking for, for in the lentils? Hey. Yeah, dentists would love you for that. Yeah. <laughs> and then while she's doing that, just tell us a little bit about T-Set. Sure. T-Set is a state agency that makes grants and programs to improve health, and one of our programs is Shape Your Future. So we have tips about how families can increase vegetables, make sure that they're getting nutritious foods, getting water for their kiddos, and all of those resources can be found at shapeyourfutureok.com. Perfect. Making it easier to make some of those healthier, smarter Absolutely. choices. Absolutely. And still making good food for your family. While I'm still trying to dig the curry out of the jar. Yes. <laughs> That's right. We're, we're in the timeline right. of TV. I totally get it. Yes. Okay, so we would bring this to a simmer, let everything get really soft, get the lentils nice and tender. The sweet potatoes are going to get tender even before that. Um, but the last thing that you would add is this oat milk. And we're going to go ahead and do it. The reason okay. you don't do it necessarily right before, or excuse me, um, early in the recipe is because it can give it a tendency to stick. But we're just going to stir it after we're off camera and make sure that it doesn't. So there you go. All yes. right. So this finished is, product right I'm already here. excited to try this because yes. I've been looking at it. So let's go for it. Great for fall. I know that's what it makes me think of. Right. And this would be a really great recipe to add a little chicken or a little shrimp to. I think shrimp would be a very oh my goodness, good. It's so good. 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 It is. And it reminds me of fall. Yeah. Thank you very much as always. Thank you for joining us. If you want to learn more about this recipe or any of the other recipes, head to KJRH.com.